Hello and welcome to this video and we're playing Boris Baris 1810 Come on Baris We're playing E4 We've got B6 and we play D4 and Knight C3 to protect my E pawn Knight F3 C6 blocking in your own bishop, interesting Bishop f4 getting on the dark squares. d5, e5. c5 probably coming. Knight <coughs> here. I'm going to play c3. Okay. Queen a4 is interesting to pin the knight, but there's no real way to exploit it, so. Probably going to play. Ooh, okay, interesting. I don't really know what that's about. Doesn't look right to me. I can play knight g3, hit this pawn. What's it going to do anyway? Um, or just keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Let's play queen. If I play queen d3, he probably plays c4. And then I can play. Oh, he doesn't. So I'm getting this pawn. That's weird. I don't really understand that. I mean, I'm hitting the bishop. Yeah, don't think that's right. I think you just missed that. Um, we can just be a pawn up here. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not brilliant to exchange queens, but I mean it can't be that bad. G five. Where do we want to go to? G five. H five. G5, H5 loses to knight takes G5. You can look to play H4 here, and G4. I mean, I... Okay, so you're coming into F5, that's the idea. Let's just get castled here. If we get castled, we're on the D pawn, and then after knight F5, we're not so bothered about what happens. Okay, you're coming into F4, but that doesn't look great. H4 takes H4 h4, g4, where's my knight going? knight d2 actually we could even play knight h2 but that doesn't look good after h5 okay so that was what we wanted what about, no we can't play that so this one forces h5 and then f3 yeah I'm gonna try that one here try and break up the pawns a little bit if f5 we're going to capture, if d takes c5 we've got, um, yeah, this one I'm going to, oh, um, we can't do that actually, because we've got to look after the e pawn, which is attacked twice. Now we're going to move our king off the c file. Still got everything in control, still threatening to take twice on g4, which is what we do. And if knight c4, I'm going to play knight f4. Releasing the bishop on the knight and trying to trade off this knight g6. And I'm now taking my, my second pawn. I think we're two pawns up now. So we've got knight f4 coming. He protects against the check. And I'm unblocking the bishop, which looks good. I've got bishop b5 in the wings. We can actually get that in as a pre-move. Not, not a pre-move, an intermediate move. So let's do that. And we'll just, yeah, this forces me to take here. Well, that's okay, I don't mind doing that. Okay. Oh, now I'm losing my H pawn. Uh, interesting. What happens if I check here? If I check, bishop takes. Takes. Oh, I'll just take this, I guess, and play g3. Or maybe knight f6 check. And then, yeah, let's play knight f6 check, and then get a nice open bishop here. Cement my f6 pawn. Guess you play knight c4. And try and push my g pawn, that looks good. So I think something like bishop e5 and then pushing the g file looks like a pretty good plan. As long as this rook can't get in, and I don't see how it can. Um, I, I'm okay, so 
Yeah, I'm just going to push the G pawn now because I don't see where this knight is going at the moment. Doesn't don't think it has any future there, so we're going to just keep pushing the G pawn. I think the knight is just wrong on that square. It looks active, but I don't think it's going anywhere. So rook G1 and then G6 is the plan. Rook H1, Rook H7. This knight is still dominated by the bishop, so it's all good. Okay, so Rook H7. Sink G6 now. We can actually play rook g7 here because if rook takes we can we're actually going to make a queen so rook g7 now rook h7 is forced and then we get to play g6 Ooh, interesting can't we just check here no we can't we can't play that bishop here uh bishop e5 interesting 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 very interesting move So the threat is to take twice on g7. If we play bishop e5 to double protect, we go knight takes, pawn takes, then trade. So I think we have to take this. I'm not sure about this. And then queen here. K queen? What am I talking about? Queen. I'm trying to kick the knight, I guess. What's the winning plan here? That's not so easy, actually. Something like a4 and then b3. And I guess we just want to try and make another pass pawn over on the queen side. That looks good. The knight's still dominated, so after king c3. Okay, you're coming in here. Still can't play b3, though. That's the problem. But hang on, I can play. Okay. A4, King F5, what happens if G6 now? I'm not sure if that works. What about B3 now? If King takes Bishop, we play G6. If takes, takes, and you can't get back to that. And if you don't take it... Ooh, uh, this is a bit risky, but I think it works. Where's the knight going? It has to go here. So now, and then king b4 is what I want to try and play. The pawn is nicely defended. I'm going to pre-move, okay. So I'm going to try and make, what are we going to try and do? We're going to try and push b5, kick the knight, or king here. And then play a5. Yeah, king d3 and then a5 looks good. If e5, I think we have to take that. Let's go ahead and get that pass pawn now. Okay. And then we've got the pass pawn. But maybe we can't get in here. This is the problem. Maybe we can't get in. So we want to walk the king. We want to get bishop here, bishop on c3. Oh, I've just blocked in my own... Blood. You can just take the pawn now. Idiot. Wow, he missed that. Oh, he missed taking the pawn. Now, king he now bishop here. Now we're going to try and run with the king. And he's going to lose some time, so that's good. And let's take. And we went on time. Excellent. 
but in what I think is a winning position. Um, yeah, just a very quick recap. I think the crucial moment's here. I've just played queen d3. He needs to protect his b-pawn. He decided not to. Excuse me, he played h6. Mm, yeah, I mean, he just needs to protect the b-pawn. After that, I think I'm just better. Not sure about the exchange of the queens, but, I mean, you know, can't be that bad. And we just gradually pressed. Um... I like to have three. Nice to break up these pawns. Move out of the check. And then knight a5 again is not really worrying about this pawn, so we win another pawn. Um, and managed to keep enough control to drive home the win, which is good. Probably some inaccuracies, but um, yeah, reasonably happy with the game. Okay, thanks for watching.